Welcome to the world of transcription and translation from DNA to RNA to protein. Transcription is just like if you're talking and someone's typing what you're saying. It's the same language but a different medium. So DNA has the information and RNA transcribes it into a new form. Transcription factors look for the Tata box, which lets them know that there's a gene present. As it looks, it will look for TATA -ta in the DNA code. Once it finds it, it'll go up and sit on the DNA, thus opening it up for RNA polymerase to come in, read the DNA, put the RNA bases in, and thus create a full mRNA molecule. Once the mRNA is made, the DNA, as we know, stays in the nucleus. But the mRNA travels out into the cytoplasm so that it can make protein. Me gusta biología mucho. What? He says I like biology a lot. Oh, thanks. This is actually just like translation. While DNA and RNA speak the same language of nucleic acids, proteins must translate the RNA code into amino acids. For the mRNA to be read, it must be sandwiched between two ribosomal subunits. Once the small ribosomal subunit is on, a tRNA will read the mRNA and sit and bind to it. The large ribosomal subunit comes in next, and then another tRNA. Once they're together, the peptide bond can be formed by the large ribosomal subunit, which then shifts over and another amino acid or tRNA comes in, another peptide bond is formed, and it keeps on going and shifting, and new tRNAs come in elongating the protein. Once the ribosomal subunit hits a stop codon, a releasing factor binds and causes the whole complex to fall apart. The polypeptide's free to turn into a protein and be folded, as are the ribosome and the mRNA. So the ribosome will go on to read and create many different proteins, and maybe even some more of the same one. The mRNA will be read many times and make many proteins, and can be controlled by being degraded and the protein will fold and become a functional protein doing its job inside the cell.